first, but this matchup could be a little interesting for uh, Richter. Sonic's a little fast, and uh, whenever Richter throws stuff, he's pretty much throwing himself in a little bit of a stun there. But Town and City to start it off. There we go, that upward special, of course, going to be the very easy get off me option coming out from Richter here. Already starting to set up that spacing game, and Jesus, the use of the whip! So Tashford Hall is really the key to victory key to victory with this is really going to have to get around these projectiles. And Starting struggling. off, getting up with the spin dash. Here, check him out. Tries to charge up that forward smash, but still dashing in. That's exactly what he needs, right? He needs to get close to Richter, kind of box him out. But I don't know, man. Really struggling. We've seen that exact same setup. Wow, that kill, that DI. Yeah. So it's not too crazy, but Infinite doing a really good job of keeping his space right now, understanding like where Sonic can go and kind of keeping him out. Ooh. Spins right through that, though. It point blank holy water into the dash attack. Once again, setting up shop. Nice. And wow! Clean! Ooh, with, right the, with the taunt, too? Mm -hmm. Ooh, a little too confident. We'll see. Getting a little spicy. The back row to set up shop. The axe to keep him out. And look at that forward tilt. Once again, you have to find your way in. But the other thing is, I feel like on the side of Taj Mahal here, you can play it a little bit more patiently. Just because you know you have to get in doesn't mean you have to run in time after time again. Infinite with the grab into the up throw. Goes for the up air again. Doesn't quite get it. Taj Mahal really just struggling around Belmont's projectiles. I mean, that's really the basis of this character is, you know, getting your confirms off of Axe and Holy Water and all that stuff. Goes to the up out of shield. Doesn't quite get it. Yeah, and I was hoping for a little bit of a stronger punish, but finally finds that wind up punch. Secure a stock by 127%. It's going to be just a matter of time here, likely for Infinite to close this out. You can see him getting a little scared and air dodging right there, but right. just one more ledge trap. And I think Sonic has the Holy Water in his hands too. Ooh, but it falls right off. Okay. And that whip is gonna take game one very, very convincingly for Infinite. Yeah, they're not even close. But I do feel like a little bit toward the latter half of that game, it felt as if Taj Mahal Kind of got the memo a little bit. Right. He said, oh, I'm, I'm getting hit a lot. I'm trying to run in. Right. Keep getting stuff by rollback forward tilt. Like, I, I think I can do a little bit better than that. Right. And I think he's relying a little bit too heavily on the air dodge uh, to mm -hmm. those platforms as well. But we're going to see what kind of options he tries to use to get around the projectile war that is Richter. But he only has one game, really, to break it down and figure it out. The jigsaw puzzle needs to come to a close really fast here for him. Right, for sure. And, you know, like you said, the item game with Belmont, you know, Belmont is very easily gimbable, especially for mm -hmm. Sonic, that back throw fair, back throw back air, but he was just never in a position to get that. Right. So, but I think Taj is gonna change. Oh, I support the spit. I support the pit decision here. Kind of an interesting matchup again. He can zone out the items with arrows, with the side B as well. Mm -hmm. Going to Kalos for game two. Here we go. Oh, there you go. I want to see what exactly his approach is here. Because sometimes, you know, if you feel like you're getting walled out, you can say, you know what, I'm going to fight fire with fire and try to do a little bit of the same thing with those arrows pick to kind of contest a little bit at a certain range. But right now, it's like he's doing better in the neutral game, getting hit uh, less often, keeping it fairly easy, actually. You know, just keeping Ooh. it even. Ooh, okay. If they kind of get a little antsy. Wow. <laughs> if you got caught trying to roll behind there, the forward tilt bring him forward. Ooh, with the side B, sends him right up. But that's going to be a kill. Gets the down, I believe, into the up B. Yeah, and the thing with that is that up special doesn't kill uh, for a while, but you really have to make sure your DI is on point there because you can't find yourself dying really early to it. But it won't be until like around like 160, 170 where it will actually kill you from those characters. And Pit's side B, really, really a good move. Infinite's really got to watch for that. He's gotten hit by that twice. Super armor, tries to go for that down smash, throws it out one more time. Probably a little bit stale, but still not finding the KO. Taj Mahal trying to work his way in here, gets caught by the up air. And another one will seal it out if he's able to land it. Ooh, the air dodge, but Pit's recovery is too good. Comes right back to the stage, but unfortunately gets axed into the up air. And Taj is on his last stock. Kind of a repeat of the last nice game. Finds the first kill. Nice back air indeed. But, you know, it seems like the script is going to be almost the same thing here. Unless he's able to figure something out right now. He's getting off to a good start. Get some momentum Ooh, going for yourself. He needs to get him off stage. Oh, the three. <laughs> Hold the away, man. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Reflects it. Okay, rolling behind. Ooh, what is this? <laughs> Hello? 
I love the roll, the roll uh, whiff grab. Just back and forth, back and forth, gonna throw out side tilt three times in a row, and then eat him off stage, setting up the ledge trap once again. Holy water to holy water to axe, and Taj Mahal just not picking his get up options correctly with the right timing. Infinite setting up. Goes for the up air, or the up B, doesn't quite get it. Trying to show off a little bit. No tilt. Taj Mahal at 160, though. Anything could kill him just like that. And the hit stun from the Holy Water into the... Uh, Forward smash. Yep, and that'll be stock one. What was it about? I mean, honestly, like, he really... Yeah. Yeah. He tried. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't bad. Yeah, the second game was definitely a whole lot better right. than the first one. Uh, there was a lot of moments, especially in the beginning, where I felt like he came in guns blazing. He had a right. really strong start for himself, mm -hmm. and he didn't allow uh, Infinite to break a certain distance. But the moment that Infinite was able to gain that space, that's when the whole game plan kind of crumbled. Right. Uh, really didn't seem like he was able to get in any more than that. Um, you know, he got a stock and worked a little bit on the second one, but right. going to have to go back to a drawing board. And like we said in the beginning, um, getting around Belmont and his items is key to beating Belmont. Because as mm -hmm. soon as you get him off stage, it's pretty much curtains. But 